This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoToMyPC. Hey, it's Annie, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews from Revision 3. Now, spring has sprung. This means beautiful blossoms, terrible allergies, and of course, baseball. And in some cases, baseball allergies. In case you missed it, one of our resident fans, Zach Miner, and some random guy in a Mets hat. Who is that? Headed out to AT&T Park to test out MLB at bat 2012, something of a yearly tradition for us around here. Now, baseball fans know all too well that the MLB has some pretty strict rules on blackout markets, restricting where you can and cannot view games. But even non-baseball fans will appreciate this trick that one of our viewers sent in. Chad writes in, I live in Iowa, which is one of the worst states for blackout markets. I downloaded a free app called Fake GPS. You set your fake GPS to a location outside the blackout market areas and then launch the MLB at bat app and voila, you can watch your game. Thank you so much for sharing that awesome tip, Chad, and go Cubs, maybe it's your year this year. So what else is spring good for? Spring cleaning, of course. Maybe it's the pollen or the dust or the fact that it's April and you still haven't thrown out your Christmas tree but a lot of us have the urge to clean when spring rolls around. Now, this is actually a web app with a mobile version coming very soon, as soon as next week. Chore Monster, now in beta, is a service that aims to help you divide the chores among your family. You just add your family members and establish points and rewards for doing chores. I know I hate having to constantly nag Mao to polish the Google TV in the studio. So this could be a great way to incentivize those chores and make a game out of it. However, it would be nice if they adjusted the categories a little bit to accommodate our non-traditional families, like the App Judgment family. Okay, so what about spring cleaning your tech? We'll talk about that in a sec, but first let's thank our sponsor. Tons of people are working remotely from their iPads and iPhones, leaving their laptops behind and working lighter. But the iPad and iPhone can't replace your office computer. That is, unless you have GoToMyPC. It turns your iPad and iPhone into your computer. With GoToMyPC by Citrix, you can access your entire Mac or PC anytime. Work on any program, save, edit, or send any file from anywhere. GoToMyPC is convenient, reliable, and easy to use. It sets up in just minutes. While on the go, you can even take care of an urgent request to edit a PowerPoint, update a spreadsheet, print out any document, or work on any files right from your iPhone. I use GoToMyPC when I'm traveling, for example, um, and I do love the security of knowing that I can access my desktop files at my work computer from anywhere without having to worry. Visit GoToMyPC.com and click on the Try It Free button and enter the promo code APPJUDGMENT. Then download the free app to your iPad or iPhone and get started. That's GoToMyPC.com, try it free with the promo code APPJUDGMENT. Okay, so back to spring cleaning. There's a new app that can help you manage all those files that seem to pile up across all your devices, at least the photo files. Cloud Photos for iOS is a service that automatically uploads photos to Dropbox as soon as you snap the picture, allowing you to save your photos directly to the cloud instead of to your phone or tablet. So Cloud Photos could be a great way to help you manage at least those files and eliminate the chore of purging your photo files, particularly for those of us with major file management problems. Yes, what you're seeing is an actual screenshot of my desktop right now, and yes, that would be Kenny G and Miles Davis. Help me. Finally, a very interesting observation by one of our viewers, Darren. Darren writes in, is it just me or are all social apps blue? And as evidence, Darren also sent along this screenshot. Very interesting indeed. I never noticed this before. What do you guys think about this? Is it conspiracy or just a coincidence? I think conspiracy. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Or you can always find me on Twitter at Andy Gauss. And as always, you can find the show on our homepage at Revision 3, on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next time.